Hi class, good morning, it's Teacher Mel. Teacher Crystal, Teacher Jack, and Teacher Jenna I'm missing you every week at church and in class. We are praying for you and hope you're enjoying the extra time with your mommies and daddies. As we do every week, let's pray before the lesson. Close your eyes, fold your hands, and I'm gonna pray for us. Dear God, we thank you for your word, the Bible. We thank you for teaching us about who you are and what you have done. Please help us to listen to the story and to believe the truth of the Bible. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let's review our memory verse from last week. It was pretty short. Exodus 20, 17, you shall not covet. Please have your mommies and daddies send your memory verse video to Teacher Crystal so we can put a penny in your jar when we get back to church. All right, so what did Teacher Jack teach last week? He taught about this man. Do you remember his name? His name is Gideon. God told Gideon that he chose him to do big things, and Gideon was scared. Would Gideon have to do these things by himself? No. God was with him just like he's with us, just like God is with us even now when we are apart in our own homes. So Gideon was still scared, so he asked God for a sign, and God showed him a sign by sending an angel. And the angel um, made the food disappear, and God made the angel disappear. Isn't that amazing? The same God who performed this sign is the same God who loves you and loves me. So God told Gideon that he chose him to deliver his people, the Israelites. Gideon was supposed to lead his soldiers to fight the Midianites. Can you say Midianites? There were a lot of Midianite soldiers, so Gideon gathered all his soldiers. He had... 30,000 soldiers. Is that a lot or a little? 30,000. So Gideon gathered all of them to come and fight. That's a lot of soldiers. Who will win? A big army or a small army? A big army, right? But God said, this army is too big. If you win with this army, you will think you did it all by yourself. So Gideon sent home a lot of people and there was only 10,000 left. Okay, 10,000 is still a lot, but maybe they can still win against the Midianites with 10,000. But do you know what God said? He said, that's still too many. He told Gideon to have the men go down to drink the water. So Gideon took the men to the water. God told Gideon to bring his men to drink the water. So he took his 10,000 men and God said, whoever goes down to drink their water with his hands, those people will go down with you to fight. God chose just 300 men out of the 10,000. He said, with these men, I will save you and help you beat the Midianites. Gideon started with an army of 30,000 people. A lot of people, right? But did God need a big army to defeat the Midianites? No, he didn't, right? So he told them, he told some of them to go home, and then they had 10,000 people. Did God need this big of an army to beat the Midianites? No, so he told them to go home, and then they ended up with just 300 people. But will God still keep his promise? Yes, God always keeps his promises. Can he use just this many people to beat the Midianites? Yes. Gideon went to spy on the Midianites. This is their tents and their camp. He saw so many Midianite soldiers, more than he could count. It would be a miracle if he would win with just his 300 soldiers, his small army. So he told his men to separate into three groups and they would surround the, the tents. And they would have trumpets and torches and pots. 
How do you usually fight an army? With swords and shields, maybe even rocks, right? But they didn't have those things. He told them to use pots and torches and trumpets. What would they do with these things? How would they win? So Gideon told them to blow their trumpets and break their jars. And this woke everyone up in the Midianite camp. Because it was nighttime, they were so confused and so scared. Even though Gideon's army was small, it sounded so loud and so big. The Midianites thought they were being attacked, but they couldn't see where it was coming from, and they ended up fighting each other. Gideon's small army beat the large Midianite army. Did they win because they were so strong? No. Did they win because they were so big? No. Why did they win? Because God was with them and he helped them. This same big and strong God is the same God who loves us too. So let's review. Who did we talk about today? We talked about Gideon. But more importantly, we talked about God. Did God keep his promise to Gideon to save his people? Yes. Did Gideon win with a big army or a small army? A small army, right? Of 300 people. And how did he win with just 300 people? With trumpets and pots and torches. But did these things help him? God helped him, right? So here is our coloring page today. Ask your parents to print it for you. What are the people doing? They're blowing their trumpets. They're holding their torches with their fire. And they confuse the Midianites. And let's go over our memory verse today. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. This is a good verse for us, especially right now since we're at home and we might be scared or sad and we miss our friends. We know that God is always with us and we do not have to be scared or sad. Practice this memory verse with your mommies and daddies. Hopefully we get to see you soon. We miss you. Bye.